welcome to the Jenga Show, and today we are going to be making cookie brownies. Um, I'm very excited to do this. Um, I am going to have it celebrating 40 subscribers, and um, I have a lot of videos to work on still, but I cannot finish them right now. So instead, I am making cookie brownies by Betty Crocker. For brownie batter, we need two tablespoons of water, one third cup of vegetable oil, one egg, and obviously the mix. This is for the cookie batter. That's gone over there. This is for the brownie. Oh my God, I can't open it. And obviously if any of these shots are out of frame, I cannot redo them and get them into frame. Pour the two tablespoons. Wow. I need a cup of water. I need to grab a cup of water. I will take two tablespoons of the water with my tablespoon. One tablespoon of water. Two tablespoons of water. And then I guess we just pour it in, right? It looks like that. Yeah, and then we just need to add the egg and then we're good. Okay. Wait, do I have to stir in between? I'm not very good at this. And waha! I'm going to keep mixing it until it's mixed. I'm not really a baker, so. Cupcake things. Maybe I can make cupcake brownies. Cupcake cookie brownies. Yeah. So this is what we need for the cookie stuff. So soften the butter and two tablespoons of water in another medium bowl until dough forms. Soften butter. Oh, three tablespoons of butter. Tablespoons is one stick. Half of it would be four. Three would be like one, two, three. Oh wait, I just do that. <laughs> okay, so now we got the softened butter and we need two more tablespoons of water. Do we have to stupid? I have to add the cookie mix in. I almost oh my god. And obviously, the mix. Now, we do this to make stiff butter, or stiff dough. And a butter looks like dough. I, I just added like another, I, I added like another tablespoon of water, so it should be sticking together better. But it's sticking together worse, right? Maybe I need another tablespoon of water. Oh yes, this is this is what we want, guys. This is I think this is good. This looks like a firm, a stiff cookie dough, right? I knew like following the instructions is stupid, and you should totally add three more tablespoons of water in. I'm just um I guess flatten it out. I'm going way off instructions here, guys. Like, okay, guys, this is super interesting. Here we got. Can you make um, cookies, real cookies, with Betty Crocker's cookie brownies? Ooh, mix. Ooh. This is like super interesting here, guys. Like, you know, guys, since we're so interesting, you should go subscribe. I don't know if that was a nonstick pan. It'll be fine. Okay, 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 okay. We still got more batter. And the pan is probably full. But I'm just gonna set it to the uh, right heat, and I'm gonna just watch it. And once it looks like it's like ready, then I guess it'll be fine. Like I'll just pull it out and stick a toothpick in it. So first, these will go in. You know, what? they'll just go in at the same time. We have two rounds. Wow. These are going on the bottom, right? Okay. 
you guys over there. My worker, you guys. It's pretty tidy for me. But um, over here, we got these guys in the oven. Real time here, guys. Here they are right now. Horizon. Beans are getting flatter. We have finished preheating time. We are now baking. And I'm letting it go for 10 minutes and seeing how it is after. I'm sure you guys very much so enjoyed my preheating time lapse. But I'm not sitting here for another 10 minutes. So... See you when they're done. Size of that thing. I don't want to. Oh, hope I'm taking hope I'm taking them out soon. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, done. Okay, here we go. Mm -hmm. I need multiple hands for this and I can't hold a phone while I'm taking stuff out of the oven. So I'll see you when they're out. So the um cookie brownie cupcake things, I stuck a toothpick in them. They are not quite done yet. These are out little on the burnt side. After they cool down, well, I forgot to grease the pan, so I'll have to either cut them off or they'll slide off. And, um, yeah, wait, let me see if I can just, like, move. Because I honestly don't even know if this is a non-stick pan. Oh, it is. Yes. I decided that I could finish cleaning up later. These are the finished products. Ta-da! These just came out of the oven. I'm gonna decorate them in a little bit. These are cool. These are cool. These are hot right out of the oven. But they got the little burnt part at the top. They look so cute. So there it is. I'm gonna decorate them. See you when I'm done. Let me do a better turn show soon. That was awful. Three, two, one. Wow, look at them now. The marshmallow and chocolate chip cookies. Ooh, icing, sprinkle, um and um and cookie brownie cookies. Or what really are these? These aren't really cupcakes. Hmm. I mean, I guess I, they're called cupcakes. Okay. Let's see how Kyla likes them. Guys, here is the ending product. This is what I'm going to go serve to Kyla. Let's go see what she thinks. Kyla. Ooh, cool. One to ten. How good does it look? Ten. Okay. So now we get to figure out... If Betty's Crocker, Betty Crocker's cookie mix for a cookie brownie can actually make cookies. Kind of hard. It's hard. Well, it might be from how long it cooked. Or it just being burnt. Up, side, or down, Kyla? What, what do you give it? Up? Mm -hmm. Would you give it a 10 out of 10? Yes. How was it? You get to finish that later. Ten. That is good. And there's a time. Look guys, it cooked all the way through. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace, love, out, bye. We'll see you next time. Please like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you can be notified whenever a new video comes out. Bye, let's try to get to 50 subscribers. If you um, try this uh, out, comment down below how yours were and how good your cookies were. Thank you, bye.
This is what I put them in at the end, and 